who kills sleeping seals at depths of over a mile and a quarter, moves slower than two miles per hour, and lives 500 years? In 2008, scientists cut one open and found polar bear remains inside. A polar bear, that lord of the Arctic ice that everything fears. How did a sluggish, nearly blind predator reach the top of the food chain? Today, you'll learn about the Greenland shark, the silent phantom of the depths. Its body is covered with special scales that let it move like a ninja. It rotates its head, cutting off chunks of flesh and leaving spiral wounds like a corkscrew. And parasites on its eyes don't stop it from finding prey in pitch darkness. At depths of over a mile and a half beneath the Arctic ice lives the Greenland sleeper shark. It's called the sleeper shark or gurry shark, and that's no joke. It's one of the slowest sharks in the world, moving at speeds less than two miles per hour. That's slower than your casual walk to the store for bread. Maximum length up to 23 feet, weight up to 3,300 pounds, a true submarine. The body is cylindrical, dark gray or almost black, eyes tiny, and here's where it gets creepy. On the shark's cornea lives a parasite, a tiny crustacean coat pod that attaches to the eye, feeds on its tissue, and leaves scars. Vision ruined, the shark sees the world through a murky veil. This massive body drags through icy waters nearly blind and seemingly helpless. You'd think it's a pitiful creature, but that's an illusion. Even nearly blind, the Greenland shark navigates darkness perfectly. It doesn't need vision where light can't penetrate ice and water. It relies on other senses. Excellent sense of smell tracks prey or carrion across vast distances. The body is covered with special scales, dermal denticles. These tiny protrusions help it move silently, reducing water resistance. This entire massive body moves like a ghost, quiet and unnoticed. Plus it has special spiracles behind the eyes, modified gill slits that allow it to get oxygen without extra effort. Most sharks die if they stop swimming. The Greenland shark can afford the luxury of moving slowly and conserving energy, the perfect predator for the harsh Arctic. The upper jaw has 48 to 52 teeth, the lower jaw 50 to 52. Upper teeth are pointed, holding prey. Lower teeth are wide, curved to the sides. Gripping with upper teeth, the shark rotates its head in circular motions, cutting off chunks of meat. Small prey it swallows whole. Stomachs have contained seal remains, caribou parts, other sharks, drowned horses. Sometimes several sharks feast together on whale carcasses. But the most shocking find, in 2008 they discovered a polar bear bone about four inches long. Later in 2014 they found bear muscle tissue and skin fragments. Scientists still debate. Did the shark kill the bear or just scavenge the corpse? Most believe the bears were already dead possibly drowned after long, exhausting swims. Even a young bear would remain a formidable opponent for the sluggish shark. For a long time, people thought Greenland sharks were too slow to hunt fast seals, but research showed otherwise. Seal remains in stomachs are often fresh, without scavenger marks, meaning the sharks catch them alive. How? Arctic seals sleep in the water, avoiding polar bears on ice. Sometimes they sleep deeply enough for a sluggish shark to sneak up and grab them. Between 1993 and 2001 in Nova Scotia, nearly 5,000 mutilated seal corpses were discovered. An entire population of sharks did this. Skins stripped in a spiral, like a peeled orange. The sharks earned a nickname, the corkscrew killer. Slow, nearly blind but deadly effective where no one expects danger. No predator eats the Greenland shark. The reason is simple, its meat is poisonous. Sharks don't urinate the usual way. Urine absorbs into the flesh and urea helps retain water in the salty environment. Plus the body accumulates trimethylamine oxide, acts as antifreeze in icy water. But when digested, this substance converts to trimethylamine, a toxic compound causing severe intestinal distress and a strong intoxication effect. The meat is dangerous for dogs, ravens, and other animals. Even humans can't eat raw shark, only after months of processing. Icelanders bury the meat in gravel for several weeks, then dry it for months. The result is the delicacy hakarl. Chef Anthony Bourdain called it the most disgusting thing he'd ever eaten. The Greenland shark's metabolism is so slow that scientists compare it to a pine stump. 
the heart at rest beats only 8 to 10 times per minute. For comparison, the human heart, 60 to 100 beats, almost 10 times faster. At depth beneath pack ice, the shark's body temperature drops to 28.8 degrees Fahrenheit, below the freezing point of seawater. Cold slows everything. An average shark weighing 493 pounds needs only 2 to 7 ounces of food per day. It's like a 165-pound person needing a third of a banana per day. On such a diet, anyone would die within a week, but the shark lives for centuries. Greenland sharks grow incredibly slowly, less than half an inch per year, and they keep growing their entire lives. No limit. The longer a shark lives, the bigger it gets, and they live mind-bogglingly long. Sexual maturity comes only after 100 years of life. 100 years, and you're still a teenager. Age is determined by the eye lens. It grows in layers throughout life. In 2016, scientists estimated the oldest specimen at 392 years, give or take 120 years. Theoretically, a shark could live up to 512 years. Imagine, swimming in the ocean today is a creature born before the Great Plague of London, the longest living vertebrate on the planet. But why? The Greenland shark has unique genes that repair DNA damage. They create molecules that slow aging. The better the genome is maintained, the longer the organism stays healthy. Particularly interesting is the TP53 gene, the guardian of the genome, protecting against cancer. In the shark, its sequence differs from other animals. Metabolism is slow from birth and stays that way for life. The shark doesn't degrade with age, remaining young for centuries. Scientists are studying its genome, hoping to understand longevity mechanisms. The goal isn't for humans to live 500 years. The goal is for us to stay healthy longer. Though if we wanted to live like the shark, we'd have to barely move, constantly freeze, and eat once a month, forever. Would you agree to that? The Greenland Shark, a creature outliving human history in the icy silence of the depths. Slow, nearly blind, but invincible. Nature created the perfect predator for a world of eternal cold. And as long as Arctic ice doesn't melt completely, these ancient creatures will continue their unhurried journey through the centuries. See you soon.